Welcome to this new mom core workout. So this workout is designed for women who've relatively recently had babies. Now, you could do this workout almost straight after you've given birth. It really depends on how you're feeling. So listen to your body and decide whether now is a good time to start the healing and the repair work that you need to do at some stage. Now I'm just gonna take you through five really simple exercises today, really gentle. Um, it's really important that we do this kind of work having had a baby. After nine months of carrying a child and then birthing a baby, a lot of damage has happened internally. Um, and so before we launch back into doing lots of crunches and planks and all that sort of stuff that I know all new moms want to do because they want to start working on their, on their bellies, it's really important that we do some really integral internal work first. And that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you through five exercises. We're going to do 30 seconds on each exercise. So each circuit is only going to last two and a half minutes, but don't let that stop you. We're only gonna do five minutes of exercise today, but feel free to continue after the video stops. Do it another two times, another three times, another four times, whatever feels right for you. I'm only keeping it quick, just for those people who don't have the energy or the inclination to do lots and lots. But again, customize it to you and your needs. The first exercise is gonna be a quadruped superman. So I'm gonna show you the five exercises and then we're gonna do them together, okay? So you're coming down into the all fours position. You're thinking about having your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And you're gonna really think about zipping up from your pelvic floor to your diaphragm on the exhale, okay? So like this. Our core is engaged. We then extending the opposite arm and leg out, okay? And then we're bringing them in to tap and release. Out, tap and release. And we don't wanna be twisting our hips at all. We want when our leg comes back, our knee just slots perfectly back into place, okay? If I was twisting, when I bring my knee back, there's gonna be a big gap between the mat and my knee, okay? So we don't wanna do that, we wanna be nice and controlled. We wanna keep that core contraction. So that contraction you do right at the beginning from the pelvic floor all the way up to the diaphragm. You're thinking about linking and lifting those core muscles. You're gonna hold that throughout the movement. Okay, so we, that's our first exercise. That's our first 30 seconds. Second 30 seconds, we're gonna come down. And remember, when we're coming up and down, having just had a baby, we don't want to go straight down and up like this, because essentially you're doing a crunch. Okay, so you wanna come down onto your side and then roll onto your back. You're gonna place your head, so you've got a slight tuck in the chin. You're going to then tuck your pelvis. You don't wanna have a gap underneath your back, okay? So there's no gap between your back and the mat. You're gonna do a posterior tilt of the pelvis to close that gap, okay? And then you're gonna have both of your feet flat on the ground, no gap at the back. You're gonna really think about extending uh, elongating through the spine, your elbows are going to be down, and you're going to do the same. You're going to inhale to relax, and then exhale, you're going to think about zipping all the way up from your pelvic floor to your diaphragm. As you're pushing your elbows into the mat, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Inhale to release. A nice long exhale through the mouth, okay? As you are zipping all the way up, linking and lifting. That is exercise number two. Exercise number three, you're gonna need a ball or a cushion or a pillow, and you're gonna come onto your side, and you're gonna uh, uh, stack your knees on top of each other. You're gonna rest your head down, and then you're gonna take your ball or your pillow. Your fingertips are gonna be pointed in towards your chest, and you're gonna do exactly the same. You're gonna do that zipping up from your pelvic floor to your diaphragm on the exhale. So as you're breathing out, a nice long exhale. And as you're doing that, you're pushing down on the ball so that at the end of the exhale, you're pushing as hard as you can. And then when you breathe in, you're releasing. Okay, so it looks like this. Shh. 
Okay, so that's your third exercise, your third 30 seconds. Your full 30 seconds, exactly the same on the other side. And then your final exercise, so just to show you what your fourth exercise is, stacking those knees, think, um, fingers pointing in towards the chest, and you're pushing down on the ball as you are zipping up. You're thinking about linking and lifting those core muscles, elongating through the spine. Your final exercise, you're taking your cushion, your pillow, your Pilates ball, whatever you've got handy, you're rolling back onto your back, you're going to put the ball in between your legs, and when you're putting the ball in between your legs, don't crunch to do it, okay? So do it when you're on your side. And you're gonna do the same. You're gonna place your chin so that you've got just a slight tuck in the neck. You're gonna do that pelvic tilt so there's no gap underneath your back. You're going to put your elbows into the being mat. So your elbows aren't out to the side, they're nice and close to the body. And you're gonna push down into your elbows at the same time as you're gonna squeeze the ball between your knees and you're gonna do that exhale zipping up. Um, technique. Okay, so it looks like this. And then inhale and we release. Okay, so as you're exhaling, you're zipping up, squeezing the ball and pushing down into the elbows. That is your fifth exercise, your fifth 30 seconds. So let's give it a go. I will talk you through it. Grab some water if you need it. That's all you're gonna need. It's gonna be super simple. Really quick, very, very effective. So we're going into all fours position for our Superman to begin with. Okay, ready? Get into position. And my timer is starting now. Well done, make sure you engage the core on the exhale. Don't arch the back. Now your core is engaged. You can bring that arm and leg out and tap. Opposite side out, tap and down. Try not to shift the weight in the hips. Keep that core nice and engaged, but continue to breathe normally. Three, two, one. Excellent, Exercise. well done. We're now coming onto our backs. Remember to go on your side first. Lying down, position your chin. No gap at the back. Shh. Exhaling and inhaling. Pushing those elbows down. Inhale to release. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Rolling onto your side. Positioning yourself, knees stacked. You're pushing down on the ball on the exhale as you're zipping up. Good job, over onto the other side. Stacking those knees. Shh. Elongating through the spine on the exhale. Zipping up. Shh. Three, two, one. Coming up. Back onto your back for the final 30 seconds. Ball between the knees, no gap in the back, tuck the chin. Squeezing the ball between your knees as you're zipping up and pushing down into your elbows on the exhale. Good job! Well done! That was your first two and a half minutes. Grab some water. We're going to do all five exercises one more time and then we are done. But do feel free to keep going. Keep doing them. They're so good for your body. The more you do them, the faster you are going to repair. Okay? So, back into the all fours position. Really thinking about getting that technique going where you're zipping up from your pelvic floor to your diaphragm and you're thinking about linking and lifting, extending through the top of the spine on the exhale and then when you're breathing in, you're releasing, okay? Into position, onto all fours. Exercise. Let's go. Shh. Shh. 
Change sides, try not to let the hips shift. Keep the core engaged throughout this exercise. There's no release here. Good work, take it at your own pace. Good job, we're now coming onto our sides. We're gonna do that zipping up, linking and lifting, pushing into the shoulders on the exhale, into the elbows on the exhale. Rolling onto your side, grabbing your cushion or your ball, stacking those knees, pushing down into the ball as you are exhaling and zipping up. Over onto the other side, exactly the same. Last exercise, we're rolling back onto our back. All goes between our knees, elbows down, tuck the chin, no gap at the back. Squeeze the knees, push into the elbows as you're exhaling and zipping up. And we're done. Now remember, these five exercises, you don't have to do them in this format. You don't only have to do them for 30 seconds. I just thought this was a really nice, quick way to show you five really effective exercises. Now normally if I was doing these exercises with clients, we'd probably do them for eight to 10 breaths, okay? Whereas in 30 seconds, you're probably getting four breaths, so maybe half. So don't feel like you have to do it with the 30 second timer on each exercise. That's just for speed's sake, because this is a video. I thought it was just a nice way to show you lots of different exercises. But do keep going with these, keep doing them. And if you need more information about that breathing technique, that zipping up, then do head over to my website. I've got like a video tutorial um, and some more exercises that you can do. Good luck. I hope you've enjoyed these exercises. If you've liked them, do subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. There'll be lots more coming. Thanks for watching.